putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, cutty. What? Good. Ravens fam. Lamar Jackson was in the press. Shout out to shout out to the fam engraving. Y'all, y'all, it's a, a lot of ignorant people in that chat sometimes. But like my mom said, ignorant people in the chat sometimes. But he called. He was like, when Lamar pops in this thing, it's gonna be over 800 and some people watching. As soon as Lamar started talking, I saw about like I think 800 and. 30, 40, something like that. It was up there. I was like, what the heck? It's like these people got Jedi. Jedi mind tricks or something. Up, oh, Lamar's talking. Let's log on real quick. But that was crazy. But anyway, you know, so they asked Lamar the basic questions, you know, about the about his money. Is he going to sign a uh, Have they been working on the country? And I'm like, y'all know they've been working on the country. You asked EDC. He told you. Lamar gave that funny smile like not too long ago when he started cheesing, which I already think it's in the works. But then, or I think it's already done. Watch me. I know something. Mm-hmm. I know it. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. You know, I do some individualized um, with my guys. You know, I get with the receivers while we down in Florida and stuff like that. And, you know, pretty much grind, you know, because the season is here. It's, it's really not off season anymore. For us, um, I say, you know, we just got to keep grinding and stay in shape. We can't, you know, go backwards right now because we already had our fun and did whatever we um, we did, you know, during the regular off season. Not this time. You know, it's straight go mode right now. The season is here, focusing on the Raiders. Then they sit there. And it was like uh, asking you know about the off season, and I'm like, you see the man grinding, going to Arizona, going to Arizona to go meet up with Andrews, grinding with J.K., with the, all the uh, a lot of the wide receivers, you know. And you just like, and then one of the questions, I'm sorry, I'm everywhere right now. It was they uh, some of the reporters. It's like, what? Like that, I couldn't, I couldn't be, I would be like, I would be like my boy KD. I was like, is that a serious question? Hey, are you serious right now? Like, come on now. You got, you have a job that a lot of people are grinding and would love to have. And you asking these type of questions. But one asked him, has, do he feel, or something it was similar to, do he feel like he already like hit his limit or something like that hit the sky and i'm like what the he's young no what like as some people say he's this generation's vic like and he and he's way way better than vic Light years, Buzz Light Year to infinity and beyond better than Vic. But anyway, you can see, you can tell they did just some of the questions. I'd be like, "Come on, y'all!" People took out time. These players took out time to speak with you and you asking these type of questions. Um, I don't know how close I am to my legacy. I don't know how far I am. Uh, like I said, I'm always going to stretch this until I get it, you know, until I get me one. Like, I'm trying to win the Super Bowl, like, MVPs and stuff like that, having winning records and stuff. That's cool, but I want to bring me a Lombardi here myself. Like, everybody else got one. Uh, the quarterback before me had one, Joe. You know, he did a great job with the team. He he won him one, so I want to come in and win me one so I can feel accomplished and be like, okay, I did. I, we did that. You know, I, I won me one. My teammates, we stepped it up. We, we did what we were supposed to do. Then I can, you know, sit back when I have grandkids and stuff and be like, yeah, we did that and talk my trash like old, old heads do. Talk my trash to the young generation like what we did. So that's what I'm trying to do. Win the Super Bowl, then my legacy, then we can talk about legacy. But they asked me, you know, What's his goal and stuff? And like everybody knows, everybody says it. Even Lamar done said it a billion times. Harbs, Hollywood, everybody says it. Lamar wants to win a Super Bowl. We know this. He wants to win the multiple. Right now he said 
he was trying to get that just that one verse. Can you see how it changes people? That drive, that hunger. Because once you get a taste of that Super Bowl, you like, I got to go back. I got to get another one. I got to put my name in the books. Because once you win the Super Bowl and you're a quarterback on top of that, your name is in the book. Even Trent Dilfer, look, he, Trent Dilfer got a Super Bowl ring. Trent Dilfer. Come on. And he mentioned Flacco. He's like, the quarterback before me has a Super Bowl. I want to bring one to Baltimore as well. It's like, come on now. Then they try. He all. They also asked a little sly question. He tried to throw a little sly question in there at the end. He said it real fast, and Lamar was like, "Uh, uh-huh, wait a minute. I heard that because he at first he asked him like." Hey, you taking a vaccine and all of that. And Lamar answered that, answered that beautifully. He was pretty much in street terms saying, it's none of your dang business if I got a vaccine or not. It's none of your business. I might, I might have not. What does it matter to you? It's none of your business. That's what he really said. Mind your business. But then the dude asked, asked the second question again because Lamar called him out on it. He's like, repeat that? Repeat that second question? He pretty much was saying, how do you feel that Eric, De- in my opinion, this is what he was saying. How do you feel that Eric DaCosta was bringing in all of these defensive people since you've been here? And not really paid like a lot of money and things such as that on the de- on the offensive side. Our defense, oh, our defense. You know uh, what they used to always say: defense win championships. Uh, we must protect this house stuff like that. Yeah, you know the Ravens defense always been one of the best defenses. On um, my, I feel like uh, EDC do a great job at you know bringing guys in, and we already had a lot of guys from last year. You know we got Deshaun, um, Marlo, uh, MP. We got McPhee, Kalez, those guys, Brandon. We got a lot of vets and stuff coming back, and we got great um, young guys, great young guys coming in. Uh, I just can't wait to get after it. You know, I'm tired of seeing our defense already because they're flying around. They're making us compete against those, <laughs> against um, them. And yeah, it's going to be, it's gonna be. I feel, easier during the game uh, a lot. But they're doing a great job right now for us. And Lamar just flipped that, and flipped that question and was like, we have a great defense. Ravens are known for their defense. They always been the top of the line defense. We have players flying, giving us competition, making us better on offense. Flip it because it's true. Like I seen a report that said like Lamar threw two, three picks or something in the practice. I'm like, dang. But it's one, it's practice. And then two, it's like, That's good news to me. Because that's, to me, that's mean he's trying something. So he see, he be like, okay. Okay, I'm going against the best defense, one of the best defense in the NFL. So, come on. MP Juice Man. Humphrey. Ch- uh, Joker. Uh, Chalk. Queen. I can go, I can go down the line. Big Baby. Campbell, Wolf, I can just keep going. And no, you no know, telling what Adafi doing out there with his athletic self. Cause that first step they show, ooh, that man got a first step on that pass rush, nasty. But I'm like, Shh, they reaching Lamar, they reaching Lamar. Like I see that, I see that mess. I ain't worried about them. That man, they be they be trying to catch Lamar slipping. It's like Lamar's from the hood of the hood. You ain't gonna catch this man slipping. I don't even stay in my 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 ghetto neighborhood anymore. But I carry them hood tendencies. I keep keep watching my back. 
no matter what, no matter where I'm at, you got to keep your head, like uh, Warren Sapp said, keep your head on the swivel, baby. And that's what Lamar does. You ain't going to catch him slipping. These reporters be trying to have him say something so they can have a big news story. Mm -mm. Not going to happen, Chief. He had that one slip up with the, uh, what's up, with, with the car. No? Yeah, with the car. I guess he was like driving without a seatbelt or something like that. That was it. After that, nothing else. He's like, okay, yeah, that was dumb of me. He manned up. Yeah, that was, that was dumb of me. Not going to happen again. But anyway, just I had to vent that out a little bit, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think. Y'all seen the videos of what Lamar said. It's good. It's good. He spoke about Bateman a little bit too. He spoke about the um his route. Everybody's talking about Bateman's route running too. Cause I see it, and that thing is fried chicken crispy. Hmm. Look good, man. But they asked him also about the Sammy Watkins, and I already knew him and Sammy. And he said Sammy Watkins is gonna make a lot of things easier for him in the offense. I was like, dang, because Sammy is an upgrade over uh, excuse me, Willie Sneed. He is an upgrade over that. Yes, Sammy is injury prone, but Willie ain't never been on Sammy Watkins' level. And Sammy got, has a Super Bowl ring, playoffs, all that type of stuff. But yeah, so y'all just tell me what y'all think. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. God bless.